Well, yeah, we can do it both ways. Uh, since the cross multiplies requested it first, I'm going to do a cross multiplication first. So I had have uh, from this I'd have two times two x minus four, and from the other cross because this is equal to one times x squared minus four. I'm not going to put one times that because it's just the same thing again. And from here I would distribute the two, so I'd have four x minus eight, and this now equals that x squared minus four. So on this one we do have an x squared. Well. I mean, we could factor stuff out here, which would cancel stuff out. But let's say we didn't realize that, right? So on this one, uh, I just want this to be a trinomial that equals zero. So I'm going to put all the terms on one side so I have a zero on the other side of the equal sign. So in other words, from this point, I'm going to add 4x to both sides. And I'm also going to add an 8 to both sides. I uh, hope you guys can see what I did there. Just so I don't get confused with combining unlike terms, I put that minus 4 plus 4x, four but then I put the plus 8 beneath that. So, wait, that, yeah, that's supposed to be minus, I apologize. Minus 4x, dang it. That's good catch. So that's 0 now, and this equals x squared. I'm going to rearrange it, so now I've got minus 4x plus 4. And the only reason I rearrange it is so that we can see uh, this in the form that we're used to factoring from. ax squared plus bx plus c. So I need two factors of 4 that add up to negative 4. Looks like we're going to need both of these to be negative, specifically negative 2. So I get 0 equals x minus 2 times x minus 2, which would be x minus 2 squared. So both of these are going to be the same. If we solve this x minus 2, we just need one of them to equal 0. And that would give us x equals 2, which would be our answer for this one. But when we go back and check this right, we have 2 over, now this is 2 squared, minus 4 equals 1 over 2 times 2 and that would also be minus 4 so this is 2 over 4 minus 4 equals 1 over 4 minus 4 and uh, that's 2 over 0 equals 1 over 0 which is true it's just those are undefined values so it looks like 2 is not a solution for this. so let's look at the setup if we wanted common denominators. And then that would be x minus 2, x plus 2, right? Very good. Yeah, so this is the difference of squares. So x minus 2, x plus 2. And then that would be 2, and then x minus 2? That's correct. And then you multiply both sides by what's missing? That's right. And uh, on the other side... Uh, it already has x minus 2 and x plus 2, so I just need to multiply these both by 2. So that would give us 4 equals x plus 2. Subtracting 2 from both sides, and we would see that, uh, well, x equals 2 here. But we already checked that that doesn't work.